need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, America, I'm happy to have my brother Ray Caesar Leo here with us again for another one of Ray's takes. And uh, today, again, he's putting on his boxing hat. I told y'all before, I like to call him Ray Caesar Sugar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because he is a boxing historian extraordinaire. Caesar, what's happening, man? And, 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 and a boxing aficionado. Can I throw that out there as well? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. I like that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so, I'm man, good. We got, we, got, we got Fury Wilder 3 yep. coming at us. And it seemed like it came out of nowhere. Cause True. Like we were about to get Fury Joshua. Yeah. But uh, I guess Wilder exercised a clause in his contract. Uh, and he wants some more smoke. And yeah. this one came out of nowhere. Pacquiao Spence yeah. is yeah. on the way. Yeah. Now, I know in, in a previous segment we did on boxing, you called for Pacquiao Mayweather instead of Mayweather fighting these celebrity joints and all that kind of stuff. Wow. And you 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 mentioned that Pacquiao is still active. Yeah. I guess Pacquiao was like, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I am still active. I'm going to try one of these bad boys out here, yeah. one of these young boys. So which one of these fight seasons are you are anticipating more? Fury Man. Wilder or Pacquiao Spence? You know – before I go into great detail, the, the answer is easy, um, but it's not at the same time, because this is the very thing that, like like you said, I asked for when you talk about this this YouTube celebrity boxing thing that's happening, uh, Floyd jumping over there and, and, and tussling with those guys mm -hmm. and just the notoriety that it's getting, man, the the I don't I don't knock those guys. But the real reason that's happening is because guys won't fight each other on, on, on the real professional boxing side. So finally. Once again, you see guys step up. Now, this is few and far in between, but at least we're getting it. That, as, a, as a boxing purist fan like myself, this is very exciting to see. The one that I think is the most intriguing, the one that I'm willing to, to sit down and watch from start to finish, I'm going to watch both. But if I had to pick, it's going to be a Wilder Fury. Here's why. Even though Fury dominated that last fight, and I do mean dominated, like he put the hurt on Deontay Wilder to give that man his first loss of his career. Um it says something for Deontay Wilder to want another crack at that guy. Now, yes, signing that contract, man, he's going to get paid a lot of money, right? <laughs> no doubt. No <laughs> doubt about it. Th right. That is the that is the main thing. Right. But I do think that there is some real dog in Deontay Wilder to say, man, I really got I really got hands put on me by this guy in the last fight, right? Like, he was hurt before he got knocked out. They just right. had to throw in the towel. Brother, I would say he got hands put on him in the first one. Oh, he got hands put on him in the first fight. He got hands, but in that second one, for him to realize that he got destroyed the way he did, um, yes, money is a is a factor, but you also have to realize we can look at that and say, oh, it's just about the money. But we're not going in the ring with Tyson Fury. That's Deontay Wilder as a man. He's got to walk into that ring alone. And take those hits, right? So I so I I commend him for that. I really do. I really do. Um, neither one of these guys has, has fought, has been in the ring since they fought each other that last time. That says something too. I know that that Joshua, Anthony Joshua was trying to work out some with Fury, didn't fall through. I think this is fitting that neither one of those guys has gotten in the ring until they face each other one more time. It's just a rubber match, man. Um, some people say Fury won the first fight. I really do think it was a draw. You, you, I remember you saying that. I remember you saying that too. Yeah. That you thought Fury. So this is a great opportunity for Fury to say, "All right, if you think I didn't win the first one, I clearly won the second one, and I destroyed this man in the third one." Right? For Wilder, this gives him an opportunity to say, "I am everything that y'all thought I was, and now I'm going to add on to the fact that I'm a warrior too." We know that he can throw bombs, right? We know that he's uh, very athletic for his size. Mm -hmm. He just finally ran up against a guy who is athletic um great ring generalship tyson fear does not get enough credit for the 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 slickness that he has in the he's ring man. he's a boxer he's a true boxer right mm -hmm. and and i don't know if deontay wilder has ever seen that in his career ever so that's a lot to to adjust to here's something that i think is very interesting about um their upcoming fight deontay wilder has a new trainer um he made it a point to get a new trainer so if you've been out of the ring for this long the last time you fought was against tyson fury obviously with a new trainer is going to come a new strategy a new way of attack a new way of thinking because obviously you got rid of a trainer because you feel like it didn't work 
right? So right. not only do I think there's going to be a new strategy, I think there are going to be new tricks to the game as far as conditioning. That's going to be very important uh, for Deontay Wilder if he is going to beat Tyson Fury because Fury is slick and Fury knows that he's not going to get in a tussling match with Deontay Wilder early on because that's when the bronze bomber does his damage. Right. You know, legendary right hand. Um, but you take him into the deep waters. Well, in order for Deontay Wilder to be successful, he's got to be able to carry that power into the deep waters. The only way you do that is train and train like you've never trained before. So you can have that win, that stamina uh, to get to those later rounds, man, because more than anything, yes, Tyson Fury can punch too. But I think a lot of that is that Deontay Wilder was just simply not ready to go the distance. And as you take punches, it's a lot different in the first round when you are dog tired in the sixth and seventh round, getting them things laid on you. Right. So I think that will be a very, very intriguing fight. I do want to shout out Manny Pacquiao for fighting Errol Spence. Okay. Now before, before we get to them, I had a question for yeah, you yeah, yeah, no doubt. In, in regards to Wilder <clears throat> and his new trainer. Yep. In the two fights I've seen with Wilder Fury, I've been just so upset with, with uh Wilder not using the jab to set up that bomb of a right hand. Yeah. It, do you think it's too late in the game for even a new trainer and and maybe Wilder being dedicated to try to uh, get some revenge yeah. because of the, the fisticuffs that were put on him last time? Do you think it's too late in the game for this man to add boxing skills to yeah, his I do. punching power? I do. He can't reinvent himself at this stage. That's just my personal opinion, right? First of all, I don't think he's that guy. I don't think he's that generational talent that can reinvent himself, right? Like how Floyd went from being the fast, I throw everything boxer to towards the end of his career is I pick my times and then I'm a great defensive fighter throughout my entire career. What I do think can happen is that a new trainer can inspire you because, again, you're taking this fight for a reason. Yeah, you're taking it for the money, but you're also taking it for legacy, man. If you want to be remembered as a great heavyweight of your generation you cannot lose to this guy two and a half times that's what i call a draw a half so you can't lose uh, to this guy two and a half times man i don't think he can reinvent himself but i don't think he has to i think he has to be in great shape to go late rounds mm -hmm. that part i do think you can change mm -hmm. and you have to do simple things minor adjustments what you said can help him out tremendously in this third fight stick with the jab what the jab does is keep tyson fury off your tail and it helps you set up that bomb of a right hand you don't have to you don't have to learn how to throw hooks to the body and you don't have to all of a sudden develop a major uppercut which i do think he already has um something as simple as being consistent with the jab having a trainer in your corner after every round to say keep sticking that jab out there don't forget that head movement those two things can change a fight with a guy that has has punching power like Deontay Wilder. So he has to be mindful of that. I really do think so, because I can tell you this, if he goes in with the same game plan, the very same thing is going to happen. That That is no question. I think me, you, and anybody who saw the last fight can tell you if Deontay Wilder steps in the ring and just says, well, this time I'm going to be hungrier, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He, he's going to get destroyed. And then before we started taping, you told me you were watching some and Fury ran up in there and said he's gonna knock him out. <laughs> yeah, so, so we, we see what's on his mind. He yeah, thinking, man. He thinking knockout. You he know was on he was on ESPN, you know, uh talking about the fight. Um, and just just crashed the booth live while they were, you know, uh, doing some post game oh, on the other Ali type of stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. Just crashed the booth, just walked up there, grabbed the mic and said, Just wanna let y'all know <laughs> I signed the contract and I'm knocking this guy out. I'm knocking him out. And so that's the confidence he has. And rightly so. Rightly so. You hey, know yeah, what I, I mean? Can't, I can't blame him. Rightly Cause, so. Because in the first fight, man, I'm telling you, the only round I gave Wilder was the round he knocked the man down. Oh. <laughs> Everything. That's the only one I gave. I was yeah. on it. Man. Yeah. And, and then that last fight just broke my heart because it was Black oh, History Month. And he get. <laughs> and I look, I fool with Fury, though. Yeah. Take, taking race out of. Yeah, I, no doubt. I, I, I fool with Fury's story of. Uh, overcoming he's a real guy uh, uh, his addiction he's and, a real and, guy know, coming from uh his a uh, family of fighters and all yeah. that kind of stuff and his daddy naming him tyson fury yeah, after man. mike tyson yeah man. i love all that kind of stuff you know yeah what I'm but it was black history month man True. and, and while the head on the all black man and he had the the uh the black history figures on the he, big screen no, man he didn't know though 
he didn't know that he was stepping in the ring with a guy that, like you said, man, has has been to the bottom, has been to the bottom when it comes to like your life and your soul um, and, and said, man, I've been closer to death than you could ever imagine. So stepping in the ring with a guy that just hits hard, that's not going to be enough. Um, that's why I like Tyson Fury because that's I just part of the reason why he got up that and that that's first why he too. got up, man. You yeah. cannot discount that. Um, this guy doesn't fear anything. Like when you see Tyson Fury and he's walking around, he's braggadocious for a lot of folks, that is selling the fight. And yeah, he he does a good job of selling the fight, but that's his true demeanor. Mm-hmm. Like for him, this is all or nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you get in the ring with me. We're going to go down deep because I just feel like I have been close to death with my addictions and my demons and I've overcome all of that. So just looking another man in the eye, that's not really much to fear, man. That's real. Whew. That's real. It's going to be so a great you, one. So what you think about Pacquiao Spence? Because I was absolutely shocked. And I text y'all yeah. that my concerns with Pacquiao taking this fight. You it's it's a real I, concern. I, I, what, what was your concern, by the way? I first thing I thought off the top with knockout. And, and, and the type of knockout I'm thinking about though is that one. Yeah. Was that uh Marquez? Well, Marquez, that yeah. That really laid him out. See, I thought yeah. Pacquiao was gone. You thought he like, was he was off this earth at that moment. I, I mean, <laughs> bro, I you remember what Marquez did that boy? I do. I do. He put him and in So sleep. I'm like, what? I'm on his Bob Arum not uh, uh 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 screwing over this man why is pacquiao no. taking this fight with these it's, young boys it's a lot of that i i can't prove it uh people who are close to the fight game that are at these fights and to hang out with manny and no bob aram they could tell you the truth i think that's part of it other part is man manny pacquiao is just a fighter manny pacquiao is a politician manny pacquiao is a singer but at the root of manny pacquiao the reason why he's able to do all that extracurricular stuff is because he's a warrior Mm-hmm. Right. He's 42 years old. Um, say what you will, man. Manny Pacquiao is one of the greatest fighters of our generation. Mm-hmm. Right. Manny Pacquiao has never ducked anybody mm-hmm. ever. You look at Manny Pacquiao's catalog. Everybody who wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao got some. Right. He called out Floyd. He called out Marquez. He called out everybody. And he would go toe to toe. So I have nothing bad to say about Manny Pacquiao, the fighter. Right. Manny Pacquiao, the decision maker. I'm not sure about this one, man. I'm not sure about this one. Listen, right. listen. I'm going to give you some of Manny's last opponents, right? And these are these are no guys to snip. These are no guys to like shake your head at either. He beat Keith one time, Thurman. That was his last win. That win, I believe, was two years ago. No, hadn't fought since 2019. Hasn't and, fought and, since 2019. And I, has, I, I had respect for Keith before that. I yeah, thought, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. Keith's youth, youth was going to help him in that. So, so I was Keith, impressed by that. So a win over Keith Thurman, a, Keith, a win over Adrian Broner, who cares? Um, a what win over, uh, you know, Adrian Broner, man, that, that's, a, that's a story for another yeah, day. I, just know, a, I know how you feel about AB. Just a waste of talent, man. Um, <laughs> Lucas Matisse, who's past his prime, he got a win over him. Jesse Vargas, who's a real guy. Um, and, and Timothy Bradley, um, those are the those are the guys that he beat since he fought Floyd. And then he had that one weird loss against the guy Jeff Horn that you, most people don't even know, yeah, right? One, yeah. um, but that's that's the loss that he has now. Quality opponents, quality opponents. The one guy who was supposed to be top tier at the time, though, at the time was Keith One Time Thurman. Let me run down Errol Spence's list. His last five of his six last fights. Right, he had one guy that he knocked out in the first round. Nobody knows who he is. I'm not even say his name. Okay. The other five: Danny Garcia, Showtime Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, and Lamont Peterson. Ladies and gentlemen, those are all champions <laughs> at the time. When I tell you Errol Spence is for real, and listen, Errol Spence doesn't get a pass now. He shouldn't be fighting Manny Pacquiao. He should be fighting Terrence Bud Crawford. That's who he should be fighting. That's what we want to see. But the politics get involved, blah, 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 blah. But that's who he should be fighting. And to me, he has been ducking Terrence Crawford. Because, Ooh, because other people okay. say that okay. other people say that yeah. Errol Spence, Errol Spence is the best welterweight in the game. Well, that's mm-hmm. a lie. ESPN said that ESPN said that he's the top welterweight in the game and he's top five pound for pound. If he's top five pound for pound, that's cool. I'm okay with that. But you know who the best fighter in the game is today? Terrence Bud Crawford. A man from Nebraska. A man from Nebraska. And I'm just telling you, Errol Spence is ducking him. And rightly so. 
you're trying to stay in the sun for as long as you can, make the most money that you can, so you know you don't want to take that L right now. That's the politic of boxing. So we get Manny Pacquiao. It'll be a good fight simply because Manny doesn't know how to go backwards. He'll only go forward. That's how he's built. That's how he'll always be built in the ring. Right. But Errol Spence is not your typical welterweight. Where Floyd Mayweather literally walks around at, a, at, at 150 pounds, maybe 155, just mm -hmm. to get to 147. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's really not that big of a deal to him. Right. Well, Errol Spence doesn't do that. Errol Spence walks around at 171. This is a big guy, man. Five foot nine. And he's coming down in weight. He's a that's strong not, welterweight. It's not sounding good. It's not. <laughs> it's not sounding good. I don't disrespect Manny because of what Manny has accomplished. Mm -hmm. Right. Manny has close to 70 wins. But I'm just telling you, man, if Manny has not fought in two years, this ain't the fight that you take after a two-year hiatus, man, because this guy is ready. And you say Pac-Man is 42? Pac-Man is 42 years old. Errol is 31. 31, 11-year age difference. 11-year age difference. Man, he's got all the experience in the world. He knows every every tactic, every slip, every fade, everything you can think of, Manny has done it and done it great. But see, I would look at his game, his fight game, is more built off as his athleticism and explosion more than ta his tech tactical I agree. skills. I would agree. You know, like like uh, uh like you mentioned, Floyd, Floyd in his older years, especially since he moved up in weight. Yeah, because Floyd naturally a small guy. Yeah, no know, doubt. When he was smaller, you used to stand toe to toe and you know throw the blow like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. But as he moved up in that weight, and especially as he got older, defense and pop shotting, as his late uncle used to tell him. That's not managed game, though. When I yeah, when I see Manny, Manny is throwing blow. He throwing uh uh, uh his compu box numbers crazy because he throwing 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 throwing. I don't see a lot of slipping. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh Freddie Rose was trying to work on him yeah. doing more of that. Yeah, he he better do it in this fight. Then I'm gonna tell you that this is not the fight to go toe to toe with. It's not. Um, like I said, I think I think there's one welterweight better. Than, than Errol Spence, and I say that for a reason. I may pick on Errol Spence and say he's ducking and dodging one guy, but there are plenty of guys ducking and dodging Errol Spence, and here's why. When Errol Spence hits you, you tend to go down mm. because they're coming fast, mm. and they're coming with punching power that is unrivaled in the 147 division. And that's even more so to Terrence Bud Crawford. Bud's just a dog and he'll just he'll just demolish you over time if necessary. Uh -huh. And he'll just stay in your face and his skill and his craft is unmatched. Right. But when I'm talking about just somebody hitting you mm -hmm. in the 147 division, nobody's hitting you harder than Errol Spence. So if Manny Pacquiao does not take care of himself starting now, starting right now, August 21st, which is my birthday, is going to okay. be a sad sight for the legendary Manny Pacquiao because I don't care what kind of magic he has. I don't care what kind of you know crowd is behind him. Mm -hmm. All of that goes away when you start getting the fifth and sixth rounds and that same heavy hidden 147 guy that walks around at 170 is still unloading on you. It's going to be a problem. What do you think uh, uh, Spencer's walk-in weight going to be that day? I wouldn't be shocked. I, I mean, Errol's a guy that is always in shape. Like, it, you've never seen Errol Spence and he's not, like, looking like he can go right then. So it won't be hard for him to lose weight. Um, but I don't see him throwing on a lot of weight because it's one of those things that he's just a consummate professional. Like I said, I have I have no negatives to say about Errol besides him ducking, ducking Bud. So um, when he rehydrates and everything, you don't see him? I think when he rehydrates, seven to ten pounds. Seven. Let's say seven. Let's just say seven. So that puts him at 154, 155. Man. Well, Canelo, when that Canelo and Floyd, they fought at 154, didn't they? Yeah, they, they fought at a catch weight. Yep, they fought and at it, a catch weight. And it seemed like though when that boy rehydrated, he was like 170, they said, or something. Yeah. Like. Yeah, that was that was a that was a that was a sweet tactic by Floyd to get him to lose so much weight that it would drain some of his power um as it was as we were getting into fight night. Mm -hmm. With Arrow Spence, I'm just telling you, this dude is naturally gifted. And he's quick too. It's, it's not just punching power, but I'm just telling you, when he hits, it's different. It's different than than Marquez hitting Floyd. Excuse me, hitting Manny. It's different than Floyd hitting Manny. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's different than what Marquez 
was putting in that man face and I'm I and, and, in, in America if, if you don't know what I'm concerned about <laughs> look on the screen right now this yeah. is what I'm talking about when Marquez hit Manny this is how Manny ended bring up. it up bring it up and, and, and my brother is telling me right now that what y'all seeing on this screen right now yeah that that Spence has more power than that in his okay, you know what, America? <laughs> y'all tell us which one of these fights y'all are anticipating more: Fury Wilder yeah. three or Pacquiao Spence one. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them, and also. Visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.